It's Carol. I'm on screen today downstairs in my art room and I'm just gonna get ready to do a Dutch pour. And I thought I would uh, just uh, sit here and talk for a minute. I'm gonna try just using water today. It's kind of different for me. So I'm gonna use some uh, basics titanium white instead of Artist Loft and I'm going to use some Windsor Newton um, this is a ultramarine blue and I'm going to try some color shift paints today this is a um, it's metallic gloss finish and this is called Red Flesh no, flash, flash, red flash. And this one is called, it's metallic also. This was called Aqua Flash. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I hear they're pretty nice when they dry. They show different colors. So I'm just mixing up my paints to a nice consistency. And um, I'll get my canvas ready. And I'll be back and we'll have fun doing a painting. Okay everyone, I'm back. So I'm getting ready for the Dutch pour. I've just been mixing all my paints. So I'm going to put some uh, white on the canvas. Let's hope I made enough. See if I can blow it with the hair dryer. Too noisy for a minute. And let's see if there's any air bubbles. I know my paint is going to have a lot of air bubbles because I just mixed it and it seems like this paint is loaded with air bubbles. Alright, so I've got, I think I said at the beginning, I've got a flash red. And this, these are metallic paints. And I've got a aqua flash. And I've got a gold, which is a folk art metallic gold. And I have a Windsor Newton Galleria Ultramarine Blue. It's a really, really purpley blue. All right, so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do a center one this time. So I'm gonna pour my colors in the center. Okay. 
And I'm gonna hopefully have enough for two of these pours. Then I will, I think I'll put the turquoise next. This isn't too much. I chose to put the gold on top because a lot of times gold sinks, so we'll see what happens. Let me get the uh, torch and see if I can get these bubbles out. Probably a good idea to mix them the day before. All right, let's see where this takes me. The one great thing about this kind of art or pouring is you never know what you're gonna get. Every oh, I know what I'm gonna. I almost forgot to pour my white around. This is a lot of paint. I hope I didn't put too much. Okay. I wanna try and do it from the middle. I am not even going to do anything. I thought maybe I'd blow more, but look how awesome that is. Will I hold this up for you? Wow. Isn't that awesome? 
going to do another one and just do a different order of color. Look at the cells. And when this dries, it'll be shiny. And I can't wait to see it dry. So I'll be back in my art room with the dried results. Thanks for coming by. See you in the next video. Please subscribe to my channel. And like, comment below. Hit the bell if you want notifications when I do more paintings. All right. Under the, under the video, there's a little arrow you drop down and there's a description. Talks about other things on my, um, about my paintings. And I also have a Facebook group with my sisters, Diane, uh, sorry, Dropping Paint with Diane by Diane and Art with Susan King are both my sisters and we made a Facebook group. So please check it out. It's called Acrylic Art and Pouring Friends. I'll put a link, or not a link, but I'll put the name in the description below. Have a great day. Bye. All right. Here's my dried puddle, or not puddle, but Dutch pour. Still a little wet in the middle. There's just a couple of little spots there and one over there where the paint was a bit thicker. But all in all, it's dried really nice. Those cells. No cracking. Nice and smooth. There you go. Here's the dried touch pour. I just love those colors. All right. Come back soon to my art room. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.